please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hey now, it's your girl Shanita Nicole and welcome to Do Dream One if you're new and if you're already a dreamer, welcome, welcome back y'all, welcome back, welcome, welcome back y'all, welcome back. Okay, today we are going to be making an SVG that you can use in your Cricut design space or any cutting machine that's compatible with an SVG file for graduation. I'm not sure if you're aware, but we are having a graduation series here and this is video number two. So if you have not seen the first video, go search for that. And now we're gonna go to video number two and we're just gonna roll this whole series out, okay? So if you're new, like I said, welcome. And let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, we are in the one and only Canva. Y'all know Canva is my jam. And if you knew, now you know. I absolutely love Canva. So we're just going to here and go to create a design. You see this here? You could go to create a design or you can go to custom size. We're going to go to create a design. And as I'm clicking that, I do actually have a class April 22nd for Canva. So sign up for that class. We would love to have you. After we create a design, we go to custom size okay I'm going to change the pixels to inches and I'm going to put 8.5 by 11 so we're gonna just create really quickly for a graduation t-shirt okay so graduation SVGs if you want to create your own this is how you can do it we are going to first make the first one's going to be with text. So we're going to go over to our panel on the left of our screen and click the T that says text. These fonts here are just font combinations that they think look good. So we can do something simple as this, right? We're going to change the color to black. I'm just going to show you different ways and we're going to put congrats. We're gonna scoot it over. These are all grouped, so we can ungroup it. So we ungrouped it, and we're going to put congrats. At the top, you can see what size it is. So this is 73.1. We're gonna go up here and change it to 73.1, and then 73.1. Okay, so we can be working with the same text. And I'm actually just gonna delete that one and work with two. And I'm gonna put congrats 2022. I'm going to go and do oh they change it so you can do it once you click on it now you can duplicate delete or use those three dots directly here it used to be up top so they changed that which is fine congrats 2022 grad now in another video i'm actually going to put these designs on shirts so look out for that video and then i want the congrats to be in a, a script like a cursor okay but I don't want it to be all capitalized okay so I'm gonna go to text again and this is just my my design and process your process may look different from mine and that's okay because it's multiple ways to skin a cat okay So I'm just going to use this font, congrats, then I'm going to use 2022, and grad, I'm going to use graduate medium. This is found on Sassy Science Fun Fonts on Etsy. If you want this grad, congrats 2022 grad. And this is okay, but this is kind of getting in my way of moving around. <laughs> that new option that was not on there before you can have an overland you can have it however you want 
Okay. All right, I like this. Okay, and then I am going to get, I'm going to go to elements and I'm going to get cap. I'm looking for a graduation cap and they knew exactly what I was looking for. Okay, I think that is so cute. Okay, so you can change the colors here, but because it's an SVG, you you can change it inside of Cricut. So it's completely up to you if you want to change the colors in here just so you can see how it'll look. And then you can change it inside of Cricut if you like as well, okay? 100% up to you, however you want to do it. But I think that is just so adorable. Ooh. I love it. I think I'm going to put the blue right there and then the red right there. Oh, I think it's so cute. Okay, so we're going to have that center. Okay, guys, here's a very important tip. Some elements may not be able to be downloaded as an SVG. I don't want you to make something and this surprises you. So it will say it's not supported once you try to upload it into Cricut, okay? So I just want to warn you that that could possibly happen, okay? Okay, guys, I absolutely love the way it looks. Really simple, but so cute. So we are all set. What I'm going to do is go to share at the top right. I'm going to click that. I'm going to go down to where it says download. Now we're going to go under file type. We're going to select sharp vector graphic. That's the SVG. That's what it stands for, Sharp Vector Graphics, okay? We're going to click that. We are going to download it with a transparent background. We're going to press download. Once we download this, it is now going to be an SVG where you can use in your Cricut Silhouette, any other cutter that is compatible with an SVG, okay? The next thing you're going to see is me inside of Cricut Design Space. All right, so now we are inside of Cricut Design Space and we are going to go to New Project, okay? We're gonna click on New Project and then we are going to go to Upload. We're going to go to Upload Image. We're going to either drag and drop our file or browse. And here we have our image, so we're going to open it up. It's going to already come up as a cut image. We're going to press Upload. And then we're going to select it and add it to the canvas. So now that we're inside of Cricut Design Space, this is where it's gonna, you're gonna have to make sure you're doing everything, you know, correctly. So what happens here, you will correctly size the image to the size shirt that you have. For this one, I'm just using a small image just so you can see what I'm doing. Once you're inside of here, everything is grouped. All right, this is one image. Now, if you wanna do a basic cut like this, this is perfectly fine. But for us, what we wanna do is ungroup it. You wanna be very, very careful though that you don't start moving things around because see, look at that. You have to make sure when you ungroup it that you come over here and that all of the colors, you could either change the colors. You see that? When you select it, you can change the colors. Or you want to make sure that you are attaching them to each other. Because what happens is when you go to cut, it will be all types of cut pieces. So when you highlight this, you see that it's highlighted here. We're going to go to attach. Okay. So once this is attached, look what happens. This is attached. Everything else. You see that? It's ungrouped. Let's go back. Okay, so now you can see here what's attached and what's not attached. We definitely, and look at this basic cut. Look at this. You see that? So you have to be very careful because Canva separates every 
everything all right everything so let's say you don't want this basic cut to be separate you don't want this to be white you can just select it there and then attach it and then see now it's all one color so if you want it to be separated you can but we're going to just make it one color and we're going to actually turn it back blue so that's going to be one image okay you want to be very careful of that now once things are attached you'll see that it's attached there okay and then these are still separated but you can select them and you can attach them if you like but here's the thing you may want to have different things different colors so it's all up to you if you're if they're attached everything change changes colors but if they're not attached you may want to have that a different color you can you see how you can change that so it's all up to you for the sake of the video we're just going to attach that so now everything is all attached and once we go to cut see that and once we go to cut they will be separate if for some reason you wanted these two to be attached and cut together you could weld them and look what happens that's the difference okay if you wanted it like that you can do it or you can just separate it and have them separate it's all your preference okay so for right now we're just going to have them attached and we can play around with it and layer it and everything later but now everything is separated and it's all ready to be cut it's going to put the red images on the red mat and then the blue on the blue mat so I am very aware that I have a lot of new people to Cricut that follow me. What I'm saying is, you see how I'm separating those different words and images? That is going to be on different color vinyl, whether it's HTV, if it's a shirt, or permanent vinyl, okay? I hope that makes sense. We're going to go ahead and go to make it. And then because this is a basic cut, you do want to make sure that you mirror your images, okay? And as I stated, you see the red images are on the red mat, and then the blue are on the blue. Once again, you want to make sure that it is mirrored. When you're using HTV vinyl, if you're using permanent vinyl, you would not have to mirror it. Let's exit out of here. But that's how you make an SVG inside of Canva and then cut it inside of Cricut. If you guys want more videos like this, please let me know. Like I told you before, make sure that you're aware that some of the elements inside of Canva could cause that um, unsupported issue. So just make sure that you try it out before you actually make a mock-up of it and everything that you can actually make it into an SVG. If you want to do a PNG, that's perfectly fine. But just be careful with the SVGs. And um, yeah, that's a wrap. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, holla at your girl. Please follow me on TikTok, Do Dream One is the handle. Instagram, Do Dream One is the handle. Join our Facebook group, Queen Dreamer. We love it all. And I love y'all. Did y'all know that? I think y'all knew that. Anywho, y'all be safe out there. You hear? Bye. Thank you for your time. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.